What's up everyone? My name is Matt and today I wanted to give you a run through on my remote setup that I've been using to work for the past eight months. With this setup, my co-writer and I have landed multiple trailers such as Ryan Reynolds' Free Guy, Netflix's Hollywood, and we worked on the last Marilyn Manson album, We Are Chaos, all right from this room, completely remote. What's really cool about this setup is you don't have to have all the gear that I have. Realistically, you could do it with a pair of Apple headphones and a laptop. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna do a run through on the hardware that I'm using, and then we'll get into the software side of things so you can see what you need. First thing you're gonna need is a microphone. I'm using the SM7B, but you can pick the mic of your choice. Next thing I have is this little box I bought from Amazon. It basically allows me to push the button in and use my microphone, and when I release, it mutes it. The switch next to it usually turns the LED light on and off, but I've rewired it to either keep the microphone on when it's up or when I push it down, it mutes it. I'll put a link to everything in the description. I'll also put a link to how I rewired this unit. So from that box, it goes into my audio interface, which then feeds into the computer. Last thing I have is a MIDI controller. I'm using the Native Instruments M32, but really you can use anything. This one's just convenient for being on my desk. All right, so now let's talk about software. For remote desktop control, I'm using Jump Desktop. It's probably one of the best ones I've found at the best price. It's around 30 bucks. It's one license. You don't have to pay for it every month. Their customer service is incredible. And what's great is the functionality and control. It's basically like you're using your own Mac because you can use all the same shortcuts and key commands just as if you were on your own computer. The quality and resolution is great and the latency is very low. Next up, cleanfeed.net. Cleanfeed.net is free if you want to use the music optimized setting, which most of the time is what I use. This is basically a full-on remote audio studio. It allows multiple people to connect to one computer and then stream audio from either a microphone or a device that you're using. If you want the premium plan, it's 22 bucks a month and that gets you the 320K, just like MP3 quality. The last piece for audio is a program called Loopback. This one's around hundred bucks. You can do it with other programs that are free, but what's cool about Loopback is it allows you to route different application audio directly to a virtual output. So this way I can send Ableton, Safari, Final Cut, Logic, anything I want to an output and use that output in clean feed to send to the other computer. Final piece of the puzzle here, a program called Internet MIDI. This allows you to transfer MIDI over the internet. Now, I wouldn't expect to be able to play chords or go along to the music perfectly in time, but it is really great for being able to bang out a drum beat real fast or quickly lay down a chord and then quantize and sync it on the other end. So with Jump Desktop, how it works is one computer runs Jump Desktop, which allows you to connect to the other one. On Loopback, we want to set up a virtual output to go to one and two. Here, I have my audio interface and my microphone input splitting and going to outputs one and two, so it can be stereo on the other end. I also have Ableton, Final Cut, Music, Logic, anything that I want the other computer to hear sending out to the outputs one and two. In Clean Feed, I basically set my input to my virtual Clean Feed interface that I just created from Loopback. So now everything I set up in Loopback is sending through Clean Feed to the other computer. You can also select stereo or mono, depending on what you're sending. And as I said, music optimized or the other options listed. Now back to internet MIDI. You're gonna to wanna to set your input and output to your MIDI controller that you're using. Now you can see it's getting signal. Then click the next tab. You're gonna to wanna to create a Time Warp Buddy account, and then you can just sign in. Here you can click the other computer and start the connection. This computer is going to be running Jump Desktop Connect, which allows the other computer to remote control this one. Then you have Loopback. This is going to be pretty much the same setup as Computer A. You pretty much want to send any application or signal to your virtual output so Computer A can hear Logic, your microphone, Safari, or anything like that. Next is Clean Feed. You'll open this up in Chrome and set your source as the virtual output you made from Loopback. Here on Internet MIDI, you'll see we have the input selected on his MIDI controller and the output on an IAC driver. This sends the MIDI info to Logic, so that way anything I send over Internet MIDI will control Logic. So this is typically what it looks like when I start my day. I click on Jump Desktop, open the other computer, 
Now that I'm on the other computer, I'll open Chrome. We'll go to Clean Feed, and we will sign in to the Virtual Studio. Let's see if Jay's on the other end here. I can hear you. Check one, two. Sweet. Loud and clear. Excellent. All righty. Thank you, sir. You got it. So now I'll open Internet MIDI. Click on the next tab. Go online. Go to Buddies. Select my name. And then click Start Connection. Now on my computer, I'll swipe back over and accept the connection. And now you'll see I'm sending signal. Let's go ahead and open up a session from Logic. I'm going to skip past the loading parts, but this next thing you're going to hear is what it sounds like on my end, computer A, when he's controlling the computer and when I take over to control. I guess after this part, I can actually do the drums. The drums are gonna. Yep. I'll start copying over all the small that. stuff. Okay, cool. Can you copy this thing right here to right after it? To the next part? Yeah. I'm also just going to copy the drums real fast. Let's see. Those are already there. Uh, let's loop this one. And we'll also bring these hi hats over. Sweet. All right, and that's my remote setup. Hopefully this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.